scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Take us, Lord, to the place of your glory. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place, 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 have your way. My soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. And my spirit breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. Take my body, my life. Lord, we desire you more than life itself. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. See, listen, let me tell you. 
there is nothing you are truly looking for that you will ever find if the Holy Spirit does not lead you there are you hearing me there is nothing I don't care what it is there is nothing you are truly looking for success prosperity husband wife job you will never find it if you disregard the Holy Spirit let me tell you in advance you will never ever find it until the Holy Spirit leads you there hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah please be seated you will never find it if it does not lead you there you can pretend you have found it you will never find joy you will never find fulfillment all of these things people chase after no you will never find it disregarding the Holy Spirit He has become my all he has become my all he will turn an ordinary person see let me tell you something listen this chase for recognition this chase for fame this chase for greatness will keep ending people in utter frustration until the holy spirit leads you there please take what i'm saying seriously I'm yet to see one man that truly found life and all it can give with the true joy and satisfaction without the Holy Spirit. It's not true. It's not true. I, I need you to understand that I'm, these things are not just done as a religious jamboree. Some of us have never paid attention to the things of the Spirit. We think if I just come, it's possible to be here right now and your heart is not even with God. You are just here and then you will find out that you will never get that blessing. Are you not tired of trying to find fulfillment outside of him? Why don't you settle down, come, be on his side and see what you will make out of your life. Be magnified, O oh Lord. You are highly exalted And there is nothing you can't do Oh Lord, my eyes are on you Be magnified Oh said this thing years ago and many people thought we were just talkatives and jokers are you hearing what i'm saying this thing i've been saying this thing for years but when you don't pay attention to the things of god your suffering has just begun because there are many people after 20 years 30 years 40 years of a meaningless life of utter frustration they find out that everything they have put their confidence on has failed one by one the dangerous thing about that kind of failure is it all does not happen in one day it will keep happening again after one cycle finishes another cycle of failure will start but the way of the lord is the way of wisdom choose that way now i choose the way for the way for the way of the lord can guarantee you anything in life when you honor God's presence for you success is an issue of when not if 
it no longer becomes magic hallelujah I'm teaching tonight on a very powerful topic and I like your heart to be open look 14 Luke 14. Hallelujah. Say after me, my Christianity must produce an evidence. Say it, my Christianity must produce results. Say it like you believe it. My Christianity must produce results. I forbid you from this resultless Christianity that frustrates you and frustrates those around you. When there is an evidence in your life that God is real and that the truths in his word are real, let me tell you the truth. You will compel men to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and you will turn many to righteousness. Hallelujah. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things. We press in me. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me say it's gotta be more than this. Hallelujah. I can never be a failure in life. Never, never, never. I've left that cycle forever till Jesus comes. I told you last week, understanding, everybody say understanding. When you have, he said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Come, Mike. Come, climb these stairs. No, just stay down. Climb up. Climb up. Did you need to think to climb this? Because you know how to do it. Go back and do it again. This is we call predictability. Your life can be that accurate and that circumspect that you know that you know that you know that you know that you have come out of certain realms forever. Your life can be that predictable that you can become a success so for you it's a matter of when not if there are some of us success is still at the realm of if because we are still hoping that one day bless you God will see what I'm doing and then maybe he will just bless me let me tell you in advance you don't need to wait till after 10 years. Let me tell you now. You are wasting your time. It will not work that way. There are keys. He said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. He said, by reason of that keys, whatever you bind in the earth will be bound in the heavens. Whatever you lose. Until you have these keys, you cannot command authority in this realm. Many of us have been listening, but we have not been paying attention. Today is an opportunity again. Why don't you tell yourself, look, I want to settle down. Let me understand this thing once and for all. Hallelujah. I'm preaching tonight on extraordinary accomplishments. The cost. Extraordinary accomplishments. Colon. The cost. What does it take to be a sign and a wonder? What does it take to be a living wonder? What does it take to function in this earth realm as if you are not a normal human being? What does it take to ride towards the things that force men to bow to? We have been, throughout last month, we were taking a series on success. 
and I thought we had rounded up until I was praying and the Lord told me no there's one more extraordinary accomplishments the cost tonight I want to open you up to the cost dimension of accomplishments in life the cost dimension hallelujah this word cost and price these are two words that many believers hate we hate that word the moment you say cost or price people just resent it and they get angry but when you say gift or reward people say aha uh -huh, this is what i want but the moment you say cost we hate opening up ourselves to the cost implication of life unfortunately let me tell you the truth get it straight and get it this night i don't care who preaches what for you don't mislead yourself you will never never enter the realm of true greatness and extraordinary accomplishments if you deny the fact that there is a price and there is a cost so the first thing i want you to know this night is that extraordinary accomplishment is very costly it's very costly it's not just costly it's very costly number two ignorance and failure is also very costly so whether you embrace the life that will bring supernatural accomplishments or not you are going to pay the price in this life period hallelujah outstanding success had a, a huge price tag it's very costly failure also has a price tag it is also costly the difference is this for accomplishment and success you pay the price before it comes for failure you pay the price after it comes you get that but you are going to pay the price in any way so you can choose to pay it now you don't need to say i claim success no you don't need to claim it if you pay the price now that is your act of faith to show that you have chosen you don't just choose by saying i choose alone he said if you call yourself the sons of abraham you would do what abraham did hallelujah people hate the word cost they hate the word price and so many people especially preachers have tried to create nice messages to explain away the fact that there is a cost implication to supernatural accomplishment let me tell you something go and ask any man whether in the secular world or in the christendom who has risen to and made any level of supernatural accomplishment of whatever sort ask them and they will tell you there is a price to pay hallelujah the one time wealthiest man in america was asked a question he said what is the secret of success and he laughed he said secret number one know what the price is number two pay the price period know what it is pay the price and tonight i pray for you that the fear of paying the price for a supernatural life let that fear leave you because let me tell you something you are afraid of what must come so it's better to develop courage and face it once and for all remember we preached the message give me this mountain in every mountain there are giants if you find a mountain that there are no giants run away every mountain there are giants life is full of men who paid several prices defied certain things and today the world is celebrating them and if you must do much for god there is a price to pay don't let anybody fool you there is a price to pay hallelujah and tonight we will look at the cost factor the cost implication 
Hallelujah. If we do not want to end up like many people that we have seen or many believers frustrated, humiliated, then it's important to pay the price right now. I will always quote this scripture, Lamentations 3, 27. He said, it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Now that you have strength, why don't you make up your mind to flog it out with destiny? So that you can enter the Sabbath and rest once and for all. The Bible says, and on the seventh day, God rested. I've said it again and again. If you have not entered your seventh day and you are resting, let me tell you, life will kick you out of that rest in a painful way. You only rest when you have entered your seventh day. Some from day one, they are already seeking rest. We live in a generation of comfort. We like comfort. Hallelujah. A lot of people like comfort. We love comfort. We hate inconvenience. No, no. Don't keep me standing for 10 minutes. Uh -uh, I can't take it. Ah, the sun is too hot. Go and buy an umbrella for me. We, we, we are addicted to comfort. To, a, to a, a degree that it is robbing us of paying the price for a glorious destiny. Hallelujah. Someone starts a business. The first profit that comes is buying jeans and shoe and buying one, one rickety car that you keep maintaining it for the next how many years until everything eats up his money but to pay the price and say oh let me just wait let me endure no i want to prove a point i want to prove a point comfort comfort has destroyed a lot of people comfort is good but you see let me tell you something when it gets to a point where it stops you from paying the price then you are you are eating your future in your today and this is the case with a lot of people hallelujah this is what has birthed this false and fake life that people live they try to pretend realms of success they have not yet come into and so they put themselves under unnecessary pressure hallelujah it's very important say after me i will pay the price please say it i will pay the price look at me don't you think this message is not important this night because i am going to be attacking some ugly religious spirits that always think that when you are teaching about success and accomplishment they think it's not spiritual enough I thought we just came and we should be praying or I thought we should come and do this sooner or later your lack of paying attention will punish you to a point that you will backslide spiritually without knowing hallelujah when you become a father and you know that you cannot be praying from morning till night you have the fees of children to pay is that true you have responsibilities at that point you will know that one key does not open every door in the spirit it takes keys and opening up yourself to them may your children never look at you and say daddy what is what is the benefit of all of this christianity may people not look at you in the village and say you are you are an unbeliever i am a christian what is the difference see let me tell you something the kingdom of god is a reward system are you following me now the kingdom of god operates on a reward system so you are rewarded for complying with kingdom principles i made up my mind years ago that i was going to end some things in my life forever and I knew that to do that, comfort will be out of the way. And this is my first encouragement for you this night. Take this unnecessary spirit of luxury and comfort. 
is not bad pack it up and keep it a day will come when you will be comfortable indeed not now the bible says the vision will speak at the end no vision speaks at the beginning he says it in the end it will speak hallelujah another deceitful approach to success is waiting for god to do everything have you seen people like that i know god would do it i know my god would do it are you not the king of the heavens you can do anything you want to do you can bless whoever you want to bless you can curse whoever you want to curse let me tell you straight to the point if that is your philosophy then your suffering has not yet begun the bible says the heaven of heavens belong to the lord he said but the earth has he given to the sons of men if you do not take charge of your destiny you may be very surprised hallelujah i'm going to be talking about three aspects three levels of the cost number one we'll quickly look at the spiritual cost the first cost is the spiritual cost you want to live a life of extraordinary supernatural accomplishments no matter who you are the first price to pay is your spiritual life the spiritual cost hallelujah there are many of you right now if i ask you what are you doing towards your success you say i'm trying to look for money i'm looking for capital may god just bless me let me just get money and see what i will do or somebody is running somewhere and say i'm just trying to look for a job i'm trying to look for this and we pay very little attention if at all for some of us our spiritual lives we wake up in the morning 5 30 stand at, 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 at the junction outside and you see everybody waking up in the morning hurrying running from morning until night ask them what they are looking for they tell you i want to move forward i want to make progress i want to make meaning out of my life but the bible says except the lord builds the house he said the word there is not except the lord build it for you except the lord becomes the architect of the house he says they labor in vain and except the lord watches over his city said the watchman watch it in vain he said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but he give it to his beloved sleep hallelujah let's look at the scripture quickly second chronicles 26 second chronicles 26 second chronicles 26 if you're there say amen verse 5 Are you there? Verse 5. It says, This is speaking about the king Uzziah. Listen, please. He said, And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And he said, Oh, I thought it was projected. He said, as, And as long as he sought God, what happened? God made him prosper. Is that in your Bible? as long as he sought god what happened so his prosperity his accomplishments in life were directly tied to his passion genuine passion for god many of us do not have a passion for god we only love god because we have been told that he is mighty and if you come close to him maybe he will drive demons away from your life and then success will come quickly If you want to be blessed and to do much for God in this kingdom, the first requirement is your spiritual life. Uzziah, he sought God. He says, as long as he sought God, God made him to prosper. Let's read on. And he went forth 
and warred against the Philistines and broke down the wall of God. Look at his accomplishments. Look at the mighty things that he did because God was with him. And the wall of Ashdod and built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. Verse 7. And God helped him. Did you see that now? God did what? God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians who dwelled in Gubal and in Milnim and the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah. Look at all the things that happened in his life because he sought God. Let's read on. And his name spread abroad. This is the fame many people are looking for. And his name, why? He sought God. He sought the health of his spiritual life first. He was not just seeking fame and power. In the Bible, everyone who truly sought God made a mark in this life. Listen to me. The first cost is your spiritual life. Let's finish up. For he strengthened himself exceedingly. Nine. Moreover, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem. Look at these accomplishments. At the corner gate and at the valley gate and at the turning of the wall and fortified them. Also, he built towers in the desert. In the desert. He built towers in the desert. Do you know how the desert sand is? The desert sand is not solid. Whatever you build, if you are not careful, but he said he built towers in a desert. Extraordinary accomplishments because he sought God. Hallelujah. And he dig many wells for he had much cattle both in Shephela and in the plains, husbandmen also, and vine dressers in the mountains, and so on and so forth. Read verse 11. He said, moreover, Uzziah had a host of fighting men. Who is this strange man that was just breaking records, smashing records again and again? Defying the things that had been done in his days. The Bible tells us his secret. He said he sought God. He sought God. Look at this kind of exploits. This is our year of supernatural exploits. It doesn't just happen by magic. Let's finish up. We'll read to verse 15. Who went out to war by bands according to the numbers of their reckonings by the hand of Jael, the scribe. Hallelujah. And then let's read verse um, 14. And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the hosts, shields and spears and helmets and coats of mail and bows and slings to cast stones. Verse 15. And he made in Jerusalem what? Engines. The first person in the Bible recorded to invent engines. This guy broke through in several circles. The Bible says that he invented them. Invented by cunning men to be on the towers upon the bulwarks. So that when they came to attack them, they used engines to defend themselves. Extraordinary accomplishments because of the quality of his spiritual life. He said to shoot arrows and great stones without. Listen, he said, and his name spread where? Notice the Bible in the previous verse said his name spread abroad. Now see another dimension. His name spread far abroad. He said for he was marvelously helped. The first time he was helped. Now he was marvelously helped. Until he was strong. Have you been paying attention? Have you been paying this spiritual price? Oh there is a spiritual price to pray for success. And the beautiful thing is that at any point in your life you can start. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So peradventure, your spiritual life has not been an issue for you. You just believe that somehow you can navigate yourself through life. Let me tell you right now. Hear the voice of the Lord. He said, I wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health to the proportion to which your soul prospereth. We have neglected the spiritual prosperity of the soul. Our intimacy and our relationship. There are many things that can distract us. 
looking for money looking for success wanting connection wanting to go here and there wanting to go abroad germany italy dubai everybody wants to go let me tell you something if you pay attention to your spiritual life first you will be helped the holy ghost is called a helper and the bible says uzziah was marvelously helped he enjoyed a rich dimension of the holy spirit let me tell you when god backs you you must succeed it doesn't matter what the odds are say i take my spiritual life seriously the spiritual cost under the spiritual cost the first price you need to pay is revelation and wisdom everybody say revelation you want to accomplish much spiritually in this kingdom we're talking about your spiritual cost now revelation and wisdom paul prayed to the church especially in uh, uh, the, the the church in 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 ephesus ephesians 1 from verse 17 down he said i pray to the god of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the heart of your understanding the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know revelation and wisdom what is wisdom wisdom is the ability to take the truth of god's word and put it into practical application to deliver results for you anything you claim to know that is not useful in your life it's not advancing the kingdom it's not improving the quality of your life dump it it's a waste of time wisdom is not just the right application of knowledge it's the ability to take the truth of god's word and offer solution to life's problems and the bible says daniel 12 verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heavens daniel 12 he said and they that be wise shall do what shall shine as the brightness you want to be a star you want to rise above get wisdom get revelation understand how things work in the spirit when you understand the spiritual laws that are responsible for delivering certain results i promise you life will bow to you hallelujah are you listening to me so pay the price let your spiritual growth be constructive it's not just coming to church and learning all the nice spiritual languages go for revelation this is what we seek to teach not revelation of stories principles keys 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 i will give you the keys of the kingdom when you find the key to this door you can open it when you find the key to this door you will open it when you find the key to that door you will open it if you do not have the door you can pretend the door is open but sooner or later life will demand you to go outside and it will be evident that you do not have the key there are many people pretending to have found it rather than humbling themselves to say no look let's take this thing can i tell you something no matter how long find it he said the kingdom of god is like a man who is searching for a pearl when he found it he sold everything he had to buy that land When you pay the price to get revelation it will reward you please listen to me finance in the kingdom has spiritual laws health in the kingdom has spiritual laws victory over sickness and death and failure has spiritual laws success in life has spiritual laws favor has spiritual laws they don't just happen a good marriage is governed by spiritual laws hallelujah longevity in life is governed by spiritual laws how many of these laws do you know that is how you can measure the quality of your life i want to ask you a very practical question how many of these laws do you know hallelujah very important revelation 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 
revelation when you love the lord with all your heart he will open you up to revelations first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 the bible says i has not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered the heart of any man what god has in store not for them that speak in tongues for them that love him when you love god he will open you up to secrets and brother when you find it you have found it forever when you truly love god and for as long as he sought the lord god made him to prosper have you been seeking the lord in your quest for accomplishment have you been paying a, is god part of your success equation i love the lord with all my heart the bible says in first kings 3 verse 3 it says and solomon loved the lord solomon loved that's what that's that was the basis of everything that he did and solomon loved the lord Do you really love the Lord enough to seek him with all your heart? To seek to know his ways. And how do you know those who love the Lord? It's very clear. John 14, 21. So don't just say, I love the Lord. We are going to see it now. John 14, 21. Hallelujah. It says, he that keepeth my commands, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. So who is the one that loves God? Please listen. Who is it? Who is the one that loves God? He didn't say the one who claims, I love God. I love God. I love God. No, -uh. If you truly love him, you will abide by his commands. He said, And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him. And I will do what? Manifest. Reveal myself. God is not revealing himself to everybody. There are certain people that attract him with their passion for him. This is a big secret. Let's look at verse 23 of the same verse. Same chapter, sorry. Jesus answered and said, if a man love me, he will do what? He will do what? So have you been keeping his words? If you have not been keeping his words, you do not love him. Period. If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him. And we will come to him. Are you seeing there? And make our habitation, our abode. This is the secret of intimacy. Love for God. The Bible says the secret things of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenants. Many people, let me tell you the truth. Many people want to serve God. But they don't love the Lord. They respect God though. They are Christians. They are not doing but that passion for God. They don't have it. And then they wonder why God seems to make himself real to other people. I've shown you the secret of intimacy. If you truly love the Lord, you will attract him by creating the atmosphere that brings his presence. Love for God. Hallelujah. Let me share with you under revelation just three keys that will guide us we are still under the spiritual cost and under that we are still under revelation so love for god i've told you love for god is one key to intimacy the presence of god you can have power without loving god it's impossible to have the presence of god without loving him no number two obedience obedience is very important everything in the kingdom is tied to obedience everything 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 in the kingdom is tied to obedience just one scripture so that we put it under there deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i commanded this day he said this blessing shall come upon you and shall overtake you hallelujah said you shall be exalted above all nations and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you deuteronomy 28 verse 1 so obedience 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 doing the word faith is not just saying what god has said 
faith is doing what God has said so love the key to the presence of God the key to deep secrets in the spirit obedience the key to committing God in anything you are doing the Bible says you are only willing to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete he told Cain Cain was angry because Abel's sacrifice was being received and his own was not being received he told Cain he said if you do what your brother did will your sacrifice not be accepted so obedience anytime you want God to show up and to perform in your life make sure you obey his principles the last key that I'll talk about quickly under revelation is the law of tithing let me shock you very quickly tithing has nothing to do with money look at me tithing does not bring money the Bible never tied tithing to money let me tell you what tithing does hallelujah sorry many people tithe because they want money wrong tithing as a principle and as a key in the kingdom has nothing to do with financial prosperity it is your giving that brings financial increase are you hearing me tithing opens the heavens see listen listen look at me there's no time we have to touch other aspects and i want us to pray please look at me the bible says god created many trees in the garden of eden is that true but god kept a tithe in that garden of eden i want to show you where tithing started from so long as that tithe was not touched the heavens were open god could come in the cool of the day is that true please answer me tithing is one of the spiritual laws that is responsible for open heavens so whatever you do under that open heavens will now prosper that's why tithing does not just affect finance alone health longevity different aspects of our lives the reason why we preachers only reduce tithes to money is simply because we want the money period the day man touched the tithe what happened the heavens were closed and they sent him out of the garden of eden look at how important tithing is to god so long as man did not touch the tithe he could enjoy any other three he touched the tithe god sent him out so every many of us are operating under close heavens you are giving but under close heavens you are serving god but under close heavens let me tell you something i don't care whatever you do see the devourer is not a demon a devourer is a principality he operates on legal grounds principalities operate on legal grounds are you hearing what i'm saying that means you can you don't pray them away you don't pray them away there are kingdom principles that keep them at bay please understand this he said in my name they shall cast out what but he said they overcame them by it is in my name many of us have been praying trying to cast away principalities in our lives no it is your obedience of kingdom principles that keep them far that means if you are not a tighter even god cannot stop the devourer it will take only the blood to speak for you are you hearing me please in the series that are coming i will teach you about the mystery of the spirit the water and the blood because the bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the spirit he said these three are in agreement he said but in the earth realm there are three that three entities that can open any door in this realm the spirit the water that's the word of god and what the blood he said and these three agree anything they agree on that door must open hallelujah these are very deep spiritual principles there are many of you you have prayed and fasted about some things it didn't change that's to tell you that your spiritual approach may be wrong hallelujah let's continue 
tithing, the heavens will open over you. Everybody say in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to be faithful. I need my heavens open. See, when your heavens are open, you will know. You will know your heavens are open. One time I was praying, I think around chapel, and the Lord showed me a vision. I looked up and I saw like two ancient gates. They were closing and opening. Closing and opening. I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord told me, this is the heavens opening and closing over people. And this is the faithfulness of tithing. Please take this serious. Tithing does not bring money. Tithing opens the heavens. When the heavens are open, anything done under that open heavens will succeed. You see why some of you have been giving? You have been giving to the poor. You have been giving to the needy. Things are not working because the heavens are closed. The devourer just needs to look at your heavens and know whether he's permitted to come to your life or not. This is a powerful key that many, many ministries, there are many ministries who love God. Great preachers, but they are living under closed heavens. So they don't know why members don't come. Have you seen people complain like that? Members come and go. Members do this and that. I will train people and then they will leave. Let me tell you something. Check it. If you are not careful, the heavens are open. The heavens are closed, sorry. When your heavens are open, you will see extraordinary things that you know only God can do. You can't negotiate this principle. God is not a politician. There's no back door. No shortcut. Hallelujah. So have you been faithful in tithing? If you have not been faithful in tithing, stop saying God is responsible for what you are in. You have permitted the devourer. There are many of us who are in business. You don't tithe. Many of us, God blesses us. You don't tithe. See, if you do it out of force, it's not by faith. And whatever is not of faith is sin. You just wasted your time. It is a product of a revelation. How can I eat the tithe of God? Here is my heart, my mind. Make up your mind. Lord, no touching your tithe. If you are faithful, you will live in Eden. When you touch the tithe, you are sent out of Eden. When they sent man out of Eden, toiling and all kinds of things. There are many of you truly, it's not like God is not blessing you, but it does not work. The Bible says, and whatsoever he doeth, Take this tithing thing serious. The number one key you need to teach people about open heavens is tithing. Don't think this is a gimmick by preachers. If you come and pay the tithe and the preacher eats the tithe, it's God that will punish him. But you do your part. Do not allow anybody's negligence to stop you. Say, am I sure it's not that usher that will carry my money? What is your business? Make up your mind. Buy envelopes. Many of us are owing God. You say, God, let me touch this 5,000. Please, this is an emergency. I must respond to it immediately. And the devourer is saying, go ahead. Please, go ahead. The moment you take it, <laughs> you are just convinced that because you took communion or they made cross with oil on your head, the devourer goes. And you just fall down and stand up and say, thank you, Jesus. The devourer is waiting for you. The moment you come out, the oppression continues. I'm telling you, kingdom principles. Supernatural accomplishment starts with an open heavens. He said, you will see the heavens open. The moment the heavens are open, angelic activities begin in your life. When Jacob saw the heavens open, what happened? Angels started ascending and descending. And Jesus told Nathaniel, he said, you are, you are shouting because you have just seen these things. He said, you will see greater things. What are the greater things? You will see the heavens open and the angels. Every time angelic activities are scarce in your life, check, your heavens may be closed. Hallelujah. Number two, prayer. So, Revelation 1 and then prayer. Prayer. You must pray. You must pray. It's one of the greatest spiritual investments. Now, I've had preachers, even on TV, talk against prayer. And they say, pray, 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 pray. You pray, you don't pray. All you just need is the word, word, word. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you the honest and sincere truth. 
the bible says we will not leave the ministry of tables i mean the ministry of uh, we will not concentrate on serving tables we'll focus on the ministry of the word and prayer hallelujah a prayerless christian is a powerless christian period whatever destroys your prayer life has killed your christian heritage it's a dangerous spiritual investment that you must make it will build your spirit you will build sensitivity the gifts of the spirit will find expression the anointing of the spirit will be at work in your life and the anointing itself is capital everybody say anointing is capital yes we only know naira and cobble and dollars and pounds to be capital anointing is big capital are you hearing me the anointing can open doors for you that nothing else will open anointing is great capital all men seek for thee that's what they told jesus why were they seeking for him because he had an anointing do you know that if you have an anointing the uncle you are trying to talk to that is neglecting you he needs something that the anointing upon your life can solve you concentrate and build that capital i have entered places today that if i was not anointed there is no way on earth at this level of life those doors would have opened impossible impossible hallelujah prayer let's look at the second cost spirit move over me spirit move over me intellectual cost everybody say intellectual cost say it intellectual cost so the first cost is your spiritual cost for supernatural accomplishment second cost is intellectual cost help us holy spirit isaiah 5 verse 13 everybody while you are opening i like you to shout knowledge is power not not that school along high dogo say knowledge is power say it again knowledge is power hallelujah knowledge is truly power if you value knowledge and you value information you will do wonders in this earth realm please listen this is where i want everybody to give us our attention because i know for many of us the spiritual cost we are paying it very well but probably we are not paying the intellectual cost knowledge is power isaiah 5 verse 13 everyone read one to read therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with test why knowledge everybody say knowledge say information what you do not know can destroy you ignorance is not an excuse in this realm in the world of champions you don't give room for ignorance many of us are spiritually serious but we are mentally lazy we are not willing to pay the price preachers hear me emoji wake up many preachers are intellectually lazy and they wonder why they are not commanding results hallelujah sustainable success is guaranteed by quality access to information your access to quality information about any area of life that you are trusting God to be an ambassador whether business whether your job there are many people who may never be promoted till Jesus comes because they are praying in tongues they are paying spiritual prices but they are neglecting their intellectual price look at me see honesty is good but that's not the only thing that is required in delivering results competence is key and competence is a product of intellectual prowess are you listening to me
Many Nigerians have dreams and visions. There are many books. Dream big. Have a great vision. That's wonderful. But just having a dream or a vision may never bring it to pass. You must, re you must get the knowledge and the information it takes to push that vision from being a dream until it starts walking on two legs. Everybody say intellectual cost. Ignorance is very costly. I told you. Very, very costly. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. This book of the law, the Bible says, this book, not this chase magazine, not this pointless novel, this book, many of us do not invest in building our intellectual capacity. Somebody comes and says, God is calling me. I'm going to be a public speaker. I saw it in a vision. I saw myself wearing a suit like Pastor Femi. You may die and never enter that revelation if you are not ready. You think we are going to bring you to come and present a paper for us when you don't, you've not read any book on public speaking. You don't know anybody. Hallelujah. You're not opening up yourself to learn from people who have gone ahead of you. You will never arrive there. This is what will frustrate you more many christians are frustrated because they cannot understand why although they are praying although they love god they see that they are lazy intellectually go to the house of many believers you don't find anything somebody is walking in his job he's never read any book to improve him does not understand anything about people's skills does not understand anything about leadership many pastors are governing churches all they know is how to pray in tongues and preach well they have no knowledge of corporate leadership they have no knowledge of corporate financing hallelujah principles of conflict resolution they do not know these things they don't care principles of church growth they don't care hallelujah praise the lord it's very important many of us do not pay the price to build ourselves intellectually you believe god is calling you to be a reality a tv show or a hostess or host or marriage and whatever and you sit down people ask you what do you know about marriage is the coming together of a man and a woman to be a husband and wife do you know listen listen see no matter how tongue talking you are are you hearing me if i want to employ people and I see that you are going, your, your intellectual deficiency is a disadvantage to my corporation. Do you think I will employ you? Please answer me. So why are you angry with God? There are many people who are not interested. Listen, this is important. They are not interested in building themselves. They don't build capacity. How many books do you have in the area you believe God is sending you to? See, let me tell you, we live in a world where the basic knowledge you get from university is not enough. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, there must be an added advantage. The difference between the five virgins who were wise was that they took extra oil. There are many people who go into business, they don't know anything about the business. They just hear somebody went to Dubai and went and brought containers. You too, you stand up carry everything you have home and abroad they go and throw you away from the airport say you are going to dubai they seize all of your goods now you come back god is not faithful i'm a titan no no everybody say intellectual prowess psalms 45 verse 4 can we look at it quickly we're going to pray psalm 45 verse 4 god is doing something in this place he said listen and in thy majesty write prosperously because of what truth information write prosperously because of the truth that you know write prosperously bishop oedeko said something that touched me in a very powerful way he said most restaurants you can go abroad and see certain restaurants and they tell you this restaurant is 50 years old is that true this restaurant is 70 years old the owner has died yet the restaurant is still on in nigeria somebody opens a restaurant after two two 
years. He has fought with everybody in that community till they close the restaurant. And the person is a Christian. Everybody say after me, your intellect, your mind must be transformed for you to accomplish supernaturally. I tell you, I, I feel the fire of God in this place. I must burn this enough. Buy books. Buy books. Not trainers. Buy books. Not with on. Buy books. Not Mary Kay. The books will buy you Mary Kay. See, he said buy the truth. Sell it not. There are certain things I do every day before I sleep. Every day. Some of you sleep from morning till night. You are just happy. Lazing around. You come and see people reading and you say, oh boy, you self now wow, what are you reading? You keep distracting people. There is a name for those people. They are called enemies of progress. How many of us pay attention? There are many of us visitation, hopping from house to house, hopping to people's office, gossiping and discussing things that have no bearing to your future. Great men, hear me, are men who have learned to settle down and build their minds. That you are a Christian is no guarantee for you to allow yourself to be mentally lazy. They give you a speech to prepare. You didn't prepare for it. You are not serious about it. God has brought favor. Lack of intellectual preparation killed the favor out of your life. Hallelujah. There are many of you. Oh, God is calling me into decoration. What do you know about decoration? How many books? Show me the DVDs you are watching. About those who, have, who are champions in decoration. And you come and just keep sleeping dirty pieces of paper for people please give me a contract i am a christian i'm your member so what so what oh i can make hair don't patronize that person is an unbeliever patronize me the person patron he said plot me all back you plot like this yet you think that the person will just say okay you are a nice christian are you contending to improve yourself I improve myself every day. I'm not satisfied with where I am. In every area of my life. Show me what you are doing to build your mind. Show me the investments you are making mentally. And I can tell you whether you will be part of the world changers. Or you will be part of the storytellers. Are you listening to me? Very important. Lay your hands on your head and say after me in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to build my mind. I will buy books. I will buy DVDs. I will build myself in the area I've been called to function. I will be the best. I will not relent until I am the best. Say I will not relent. I refuse to be a local champion. I'm a global champion. Hallelujah. Yes. Make up your mind. Refuse to be a local champion. A brother is, is, is getting married and all he has home and abroad is 200,000. So they called you and gave you 10,000 for decoration. You just did every kind of ugly thing and they say, who did this? They say, you. They say, oh, well done. You just believe that another time you say i'm carrying a proposal to abuja you carry your file and you are moving to one disgrace yourself in abuja when you go there you will see other people who have worked upon themselves when you see their designs you just stand there as if god failed you please take seriously what i'm saying believers build yourself every day there are four things i do on before I sleep. I must build myself spiritually. I must build myself corporately. I must build myself in leadership. What are you doing? What do you do with your 24 hours? Many of you early in the morning, they saw you in Samaru. Later on, you are in High Dogo. Later on, you are around and you just come and say, I'm, I'm, I had a busy day. Doing busy but doing nothing. Nothing. 
you went to go and gossip jakes kajikwa you now run to another person you did this stop it if you have been doing that great leaders are not like that if somebody comes and is disturbing you don't be afraid to tell the person sorry i'm doing some studies i'm praying some of you are embarrassed you don't want to be bad ah. create a protocol around your life let nobody just jump in and out of your life because they think they want to see you you are studying at that point illumination is coming somebody just bashes in or buy anything for the boys politely tell the person I'm, I'm in a period I'm birthing something that can take my family from where they are to Mount Ararat and take them to a place where they will be great do you not know Samadhyam he says ideas rule the world there are many of you if only you pay attention the truth is God tried for you you are very intelligent you are just not serious you can't sit down and pay the price and you know something listen the truth is if you really really want to be great god will open the way for you the reason is many of us do not want it bad enough that's why the way has not opened i don't care what it is you want if you desire it truly he said you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart there is a level of passion when i want things i get them oh yes i get them I will pay any price to get it for me pain is not an issue hallelujah when i travel and people who have gone ahead of me in any area of life are talking i get a biro i'm just listening to them ardently or i'm just typing on my phone i'm listening to the wisdom they are bringing while i'm listening i'm reaching out to my pocket finding any seat there to connect you see let me tell you i i taught this already in commanding results the law of honor things do not just happen are you hearing what i'm saying things are made to happen the truth is whatever area it is you are trusting god to go to there are people who are carriers of that grace there are people who have that knowledge you want to plot you believe you want to start a saloon have you gone to somebody who has who has a saloon and tell the person see I have 2,000 naira. Can I give you this 2,000 naira and be coming every day and be learning for one hour? I plead with you. Say me. I started plotting somebody. This, all these people. This arrogance is what has kept a lot of people. Humility. If you do not humble yourself, you will never build your mind. Don't wait for people who have solution to come and meet you. Doctors don't look for sick people. They establish an institution called a hospital. And the sick people look for them passionately and even in the hospital there are different kinds of words according to your desperation there is a word called emergency word when you really need help badly they take you to that word life has emergency word there are many people who you can get tired of your life that you say no i'm not going to any i'm going to an emergency word build yourself Build yourself. Oh, God wants to make me a pastor. And God showed me in a vision. I'm going to have 1,000 branches. My brother start getting, going for knowledge before you die early. The trouble of managing yourself is even killing you. And you want to manage 1,000 branches full of members. See, this is why God does not answer the prayer of a lot of people. They, they want crowd. They do not know the complexities that come with managing people every day there is a case somewhere somewhere this is what was wearing moses away and his father jethro in law um, uh, his father-in-law jethro began to give him a key on how to he would have died for nothing there are many men of god who are dying because they are doing everything everything because they do not understand the principle everybody say i receive grace to build my mind Jordan bookstore is there. You can start. Let me see how many of you believe that you are going to do business. Let me see your hands. Business people. Whether potentially or presently. What are you doing in that line of business? Keep your hands lifted so that I will. What are you doing? Are you doing anything? Or you are just coveting other people who have gone ahead and say, Hey, 
God, oh, this is lucky. Oh. Please drop your hands. Take it seriously. You want to do business, behave like a businessman. Don't behave like a thief. How many of you believe that God has called you into one form of leadership or the other? Whether corporately, almost everybody should be lifting their hands. You are either a father or a mother at least. What are you doing to build? No, I'm serious. What are you doing to build it? I build myself every day. I interact with the brightest of the brightest of the brightest. I love everybody, but I will not learn from everybody. I want to shorten my journey as much as possible. So I'm not ready for anybody to bring his mediocrity and make and punish me. Then after many years, go for the best. Say go for the best. Tell your neighbor, go for the best. Don't let loyalty and sympathy make you just camp around people. You know your brother is good, but the truth is he cannot sing very well. You want to be a musician, collect his own tape so that he won't feel angry, but go and look for people who have earned the right to command authority in that field. Loyalty has stopped a lot of people from moving forward. A man of God who is not a businessman doesn't know anything about business is organizing a business expose and preaching all kinds of messages that don't make sense he's a good man of God but a bad businessman and a lot of people carry all of those principles and life flogs them back love your pastor honor your pastor if he's not a businessman look for a businessman and listen to him hallelujah Finally, the third cost is the physical cost. If you're angry with me, that's a sign that God is working on you seriously. You know I won't stop. No way. physical cost the third one it takes diligence and work not necessarily hard work but work to bring forth extraordinary accomplishments look at me everybody say laziness say one more time laziness for the last time laziness is not my portion in jesus name if you want to accomplish things supernaturally extraordinary accomplishments three things must suffer momentarily in your life number one your time number two your energy number three your resources the proof of love the clearest proof of love is the investment of time you must have time for anything you love or you consider serious enough how much time are you putting on ground how much energy energy everybody say energy see great people in life are workaholics are you hearing me they work their life out until they enter that realm of greatness praise god i've been ministering in the last three weeks traveling ministering doing a lot of things but it does not stop me from doing the things i have to do hallelujah from this place i have another trip again traveling up and down yet you must give your energy everybody say energy some of you like sleep once it's 9 30 you're already nodding even if you are talking with somebody you just do like this and the next thing you are sleeping no no if you love sleep you will kill your, your future put your legs inside cold water and said my eyes you can sleep if you want to sleep but my life must move forward if you make that determination no devil in existence will stop you physical efforts there are some of us who are lazy you hate pain you hate anything discomforting you you hate embarrassment right now as i'm talking you're feeling embarrassed why are you embarrassing us see every great man in life is one who has been able to kill embarrassment 
where you open up your heart and say flog me just lash it let it come to build me many of us have lived in a place where everybody has lied to us either because you're a pretty lady or you're a handsome guy everything you do is right i tell you the truth if what you are doing is wrong i will tell you change proverbs 14 verse 23 We'll look at a few scriptures and we'll pray. Your destiny must move forward in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 14 verse 23. Let's read together. One to read. In all what? In all labor there is profit. But the talk of the lips. Cheap talk. There are many people that talk, 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 talk. But the Bible says, in all labor, put your talk to work. In all labor, there is profit. But the talk of the leaves tended to what? Penury. Back your talk with tremendous efforts. And tell yourself, no matter what it will cost me. Say in the name of Jesus. No matter what it will cost me. I am prepared to pay the price. To be the best in my field, in the area God has called me. I will be outstanding. I will pay the price. The price of time, the price of energy, the price of my resources. Some of you are on scholarship, students. A few of you, God is blessing you. 50,000 or 75,000 or your 5 or 10,000 is coming every time you get it you are always running to the restaurant every time you get it boys it don't land you can't be great that way you can't be great that way so you create a momentary feeling of being successful why don't you pay the price and create the real one stop pretending like you are there when you are not there if your capacity has not reached for Indomie, take Gary and use them. I, I, are you following me now? If your capacity has not reached for baked beans, get the normal one. Shake off all those things from it and cook it. Give it thanks, knowing that it will change. There are too many people living fake lives. Fake lives. You create an impression you do not have the resources to defend. Somebody comes. You see my watch now. You say, I must buy this kind of watch. You go and pack your whole finances and frustrate yourself. And you are suffering alone. And God will say, sow it when you buy it. And that's frustration for you. See, let me tell you. Say after me, there is time for everything. Say it. Be careful what you covet about people. And don't put yourself under pressure. You don't need to prove a point to anybody. If you have only one trouser that has torn, sew it honorably and wear it. Let the people laugh very well so that when you become great, they won't, they won't say it's magic. They saw you. Some of you will charter a car from Samaru to Sabo. You say, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Hurry for what? 250 naira that you can buy a book you have not gotten to that level be patient the jeep will come nobody is arguing it but it won't come now pay the price sister you will buy the human hair for now use what is available use what is available don't carry 10,000 and spend it and you are just moving around fake lives use that, that resource to build yourself Say amen. amen. If your own has not reached for Shagalinku, go to Zinc House. Go to Com Market. Go anywhere. Be honorable about it. There was a time it was Zinc House we used to go to. That was, that was our level. And let me tell you in all sincerity, even at that level, we were better than a lot of people. By that means, it's just that we decided to push our lives down because we knew there was there were higher jobs. There are many of you. If you get one million today, today, you will buy a car of seven hundred thousand, a phone of one hundred and fifty thousand, and a suit of hundred thousand. That's all. And you just come and then give a testimony. Say the heavens open, and I'm here. My car is there. 
my suit is here from that day you start suffering nothing else about your life stop pretending it you will get there one day for now invest in yourself don't waste your time you think people are looking at you let me tell you they are not looking at you they have enough problems in their lives to face don't deceive yourself they are not looking at you at all they have serious issues about their own lives proverbs 10 verse 4 we're rounding up proverbs 10 verse 4 he becometh poor that deals with what a slack a lazy a slothful hand he said but the hand of the diligent will do what the hand of the diligent will bless him and with that resource he will be able to do big things for the kingdom next scripture proverbs 12 verse 24 the hand of the diligent again god sees scriptures about hands about hands the hand of the diligent shall bear rule in other words shall lead the hand of the diligent will take him above he will take charge he will dominate he will break records he will set the pace but the slothful hand shall be made to pay a price shall be under tribute one last scripture proverbs 20 verse 4 Above all. the sluggard will not plow and what is his excuse there is cold therefore shall he do what therefore shall he do what now is the time to sow many people let me tell you thank god you are hearing this now because there are people who think you are wasting your time i promise you they will pray in tongues and still beg in the days to come it's not a false prophecy it's the truth about life many of the great people in this country are the classmates of some of our parents true or false where were our parents when they were paying the price and they get angry when they see them this is what happens to poor people when they don't pay the price and they see others that go ahead see every time you accomplish supernatural things you create an effect that agitates people because of the frustration you respond to critics not by replying by producing more results are you ready to take your life from where it is to the next dimension i've shown you how these are keys your eatery can be the best god didn't lie when he spoke to you are you hearing me your business can be the best your ministry can be the best your life that book can be a bestseller you just need to find out find out from those whose books have been bestsellers you wrote your book it was great but it was not a bestseller yet find out god has told you that he's putting the word of the lord in your mouth and you will be a prophet to the nations as it is nobody knows you go and get this spiritual capital of the anointing pay the price and i tell you if if i were a prophet if that god called me into the prophetic ministry i would have done things that would shock people many people are not ready to pay the price everything is available but there is a price tag on it if you can pay it carry it the best car in the world is still on sale if you have the money today you can go and order it nobody will stop you all the packages in life according to the measure of grace and your sacrifice and ability every time i stand before koinonia i don't see see let me tell you a time will come the people you see today will be the ushers in eni just the ushers because i know there is a world dying that cannot resist the solution we are bringing
impossible our job is to contend for greater grace Oh my God, I'm a success. Hallelujah. I have the capital of the anointing. I have the Holy Spirit, the wisdom of God in me. And I will pay that price. Rise up on your feet. I bring you words of comfort. It will not always remain like this. Your life will change. Lift your voice and begin to pray in tongues. Supernatural accomplishments, extraordinary accomplishments, like Uzziah. Make sure you are praying. You are shining like the brightness of the firmament. You may start from Zaria, but I see you going far. Don't say I cannot get here. Walk by the principles. They will open you up to those gates. The nation will stand and give you an ovation. The nations will reward your sacrifice. <laughs> inspire yourself I cannot be a failure and David encouraged himself hallelujah very quickly we are going to pray three prayer points first is your spiritual life how many of you know the anointing is capital I've shared it with you now the anointing can make somebody come and sow a seed in your life that your your business for for 10 years cannot give I, why are you neglecting it and one river came out of eden it parted itself into dimensions you are going to pray say lord i value your presence i value your anointing that anointing i take it like a capital Lift your voice and pray. Mambreta kata 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 bash. Shanda praise kalabash. Zede paka prosoto balaraba. Hallelujah. The anointing. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and I am anointed with fresh oil, power to heal the sick. Power to deliver the oppressed. Access in the spirit that will give me a seat among the great. I refuse to be an ordinary preacher. I'm full of the Holy Ghost, walking in signs and wonders that will confound men. I'm stepping into deep dimensions of power, of grace. I respect your anointing. I respect your anointing, oh God. Pray. You need the capital of the anointing. You need the capital of the Holy Ghost. The greatest gift. And the Bible says the gift of a man. The gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the anointing. They told Jesus, all men seek for thee. All men seek for thee. Rich men seek for thee. Blessed people seek for you. Because of what you carry. If you carry grace, they will look for you. If you carry power, they will look for you. If you carry unction, they will look for you. If you carry fire, they will look for you. They will invite you. They will sow into your life. They will bless you. My spiritual life, I receive your fire, oh God. It's not a waste, it's a glorious investment that will separate you, regardless of your lineage, regardless of your barrier, regardless of any factor. There is a world dying out there. They need the anointing. They are willing to honor it. They are willing to invest in it. They are willing to reward it. When you become anointed, you will be above. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. During my birthday, I was amazed at all the gifts that I got from people all around this nation and even from people outside of this nation. Many who have been blessed by the grace. Anointing is capital. Get this revelation. When you pay the price, if you get authentic grace, there are hardly any families that invite me today that may not package something. There are some of you right now, you came here, you left different places, you package seeds, some gifts in kind, in cash, you are waiting for the grace to sow. Years ago, you were still alive, but you did not come to me because there was no grace. That means if I increase the grace, a time will come, I will start attracting a kind of people. Anointing is capital. Hear me. He said, because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows. I hardly pay for things in my life right now. I hardly pay for anything because everybody is scrounging to pay something for me. That's what the anointing can do in your life. Stop struggling. Go for the anointing. Go for grace. Go for fire. Go for power and see the way it will raise you. All other factors notwithstanding. There are people who would never listen to me but they have been compelled by the power of his presence upon my life. My age notwithstanding it has opened doors for me my age notwithstanding my level of exposure notwithstanding do you know that the anointing is capital it can end inferiority in your life when you have something men will come to drink of it he said gentiles will come to my life prayer point number two you're going to say lord i've been intellectually lazy I don't buy books i don't read but i repent this night and i begin to build myself i study by books lift your voice and pray lord i go for books i go for tapes i sit down with relevant materials along the area that i'm trusting life to break forth for me koinonia pray koinonia pray he said then shall your life break forth then shall your life break forth the power of information if you know what to do greatness is yours for the taking if you know what to do and Uzziah invented engines pray my mind is blessed I am not God I study books I buy exercise books I study every day I sit under mentors I sit under men that carry the things I need whether in business whether in leadership there are men who have gone ahead already listen to them receive mentorship from them through books through tapes prophesy to yourself i'm an extraordinary leader i'm an extraordinary entrepreneur i'm an extraordinary business businessman i will shake this country with my ideas i will shake this country go ahead and prophesy i will do what has not been done before I will create a new wave in the financial world, in the labor world, in the IT world, in the art world. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Last prayer point. Look at me last prayer point you're going to pray and ask the lord you're going to say lord give me such grace that i will not be afraid of pain and embarrassment these two things 
if you can conquer pain and you can conquer embarrassment i salute you because you must be a world champion pain embarrassment these two things if you are still conscious of pain whether in the cold whether in the rain you will invest time you will invest energy you will invest resources lift your voice and pray let pain oh god not be an issue for your people may they know no pain may they know no pain may they be men fearless men strong men of grace men of audacity men of audacity who will pop their eyes their hands in the eyes of the enemy men of faith fearless courageous strong from the side say i can make it i can make it yes i can burn that idea those who have survived much pain great men are those who have survived what ordinary men cannot survive great men are men who have endured great men are men who have tried and didn't stop they fell didn't stop they were weak didn't stop until they emerged as champions Hallelujah. I speak a message of hope. Some of you are like Samson. Hear me. For whatever reason, your hair has been cut. Some, even your eyes have been plucked and your family members are laughing at you to scorn but i tell you something when samson stood near those pillars his hair began to grow again the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut short i bring you a word of hope if the devil hit you and he did not hit you from the root he only wasted his time because god will take that as a pruning and he will shoot you above and beyond Hallelujah. And begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent oh God pray from the depths of your heart many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord you've gone to church you have a Christian name but you've never given your heart to the Lord it's not enough to see power it's not enough to see miracles hallelujah I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight hallelujah there are two sets of people i'm going to call and they will all come at once
those who have never made a decision don't deceive yourself tonight I don't care whether you're a pastor, whether you're a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's alright. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I'd like you to run like you're running away from fire. Right now, inside and outside. One. Two. Run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning and it's a matter of urgency forget about your friends forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you this is the key to a glorious destiny keep coming keep coming Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you withholding nothing. Don't sit back there. When the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out, God is still telling me that He's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Every those of you in front here, begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. We're holding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender all. Everything I give to you With holding nothing With holding nothing Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to Those of you in front Will you give your life away? So he can use you to give your life away. Will you give your life away? So you can use you. Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. You. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. you I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppression. But well, let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying?
He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Just that part. One more time. Hallelujah. 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 have won the victory Hallelujah You have won it all for me Lift your hands those of you in front I'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem. We are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now. Never forget this day for as long as you live. Some of you are rededicating your lives. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. I don't care what category. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life from today I go forward ever and backward never Satan stay away from my life I've made my choice Jesus is my Savior I've made my choice Jesus is my Lord Father preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus let this not be an emotional decision let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart and I break the power of sin over your life the weight that doth easily beset you I crush it right now in the name of Jesus I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life and for those of you who have come sick, I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. <laughs> Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them. Be fast with them so that they can return back. 
Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers. Please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. A lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, and help me. Just play the keyboard for me and then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah not deliverance impartation god is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people it's going to be a wild fire of the spirit hallelujah strings please Exalted high above the worship 
of the people of the earth. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. On my eyes I see the King. Is the Lamb upon the throne. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen, please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands, my God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three, shekete, rekete, teketa, no kompreteskete. Lekete rebos outside. Bring them out. Bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Separate them, oh God. Separate them, oh God. Outside. The power of God is falling now. Outside. is hitting men right now. Like a tornado outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation, a separation. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's a separation, a wild fire. Let it engulf them, oh God. Let it burn. Let the coal from the throne. Let the coal from the throne. Let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back, outside. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. An army rising up yeah. to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. Come on. There's an army.
Lift your hands. God is not done yet. I told you there will be a visitation. Listen, at the count of three, many people will enter visionary experiences right now. Vision, vision. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Vision, vision. Take it. Take it. Vision. I open up prophetic realms. Take it. Take it. Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions. Visions, look at me, look at me. Take it now. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now, now, this row. Take it, 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 take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata pande brende keta. So prote pente ke. Rektes kete. Rekete. 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 A protoscope brekete, brekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Kete kete le ba 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 ba. Eke re 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 mo. Eke te protoscope ba ba ba. They will break every chain. Break every chain. They will break every chain. Sit at 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 there is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Yeah, yeah. 
Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto preteketeteta. Repeteketeteteba. Som preteketala ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, the Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah, Sarah, just leave them, don't worry, don't, don't scatter what God is doing, hallelujah, God is bringing deliverance to your family, hold my hands, it ends now, 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 now be delivered I cast that devil I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah we will have a visitation tonight lift your hands I want to cause spirits that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I cause you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go! Let her go now. Go! Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. Out of her now. Ha. 
The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, kate paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you. Every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Liver, stand up. Stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up. Come, follow me. Stand up. Walk. Shake it, take it, ba ba Come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me 
What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. What's your name? Lester. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. fine. Say I am fine. It never returns to you again. Stretch your hands and say it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. Lecture. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains falling. Two of you, come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss. You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. 
our ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very, please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. True. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving, something's changing. She is lonely, feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage broken. Outside broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby my hands 
I take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, de did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing i cost you be free my god will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in jesus name why are you here why are they here what next eh? all of you are eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. 
Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to cross it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please, be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. The Lord is not even talking about you, He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring her out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint point unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes what is happening to you is happening to her at the same time to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes it's the same thing that is happening to her Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Outside, I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, all the children that have been buried, the blood, Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now! Catch fire now! Bring them out! Bring them out! Deliverance! Every altar, the children that have been buried, I command the earth, share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance! Massive deliverance! Now, now, I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. 
I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. You will hear testimonies. They will carry the dead bodies of men. Those who are found, they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go. I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the evening was come, they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. A miracle is about to happen. As I begin to command, please check yourself. Start doing what you could not do. This is the point where your faith is needed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit, the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit. And Lord, I pray right now. As I begin to declare, I want you to shout a loud Amen. Miracles are already happening. In the name of Jesus, blind eyes, be open now. Blind eyes, every eye condition, be healed now.
be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now God is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed God is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now I give you the praise I give you the praise I give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now I cost that spirit I cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here, we can lay hands faster on the sick. Do I need to call the sick to come out? Is that a good idea? Answer now, let's work together. Because I know there are people you are still not satisfied. Okay, please and please, if you've been healed, just stay back. Especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time. And then a few others. If you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God, please come out and line up. 
Thank you, Jesus. Wash it rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I don't feel. One day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry. Just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Oh, 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 oh he's able. Say, go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the palmer worm has eaten, because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm saying first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth has he given. So all earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long. He will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at. He's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come and walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him. Every 
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 
now out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost cancer dies now together with the leg issue your leg will start moving now supernaturally by itself your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand i'm seeing a coffin in the spirit they have finished this girl since last year this girl you are seeing jesus said i am the resurrection and the life jesus said it is there anything too hard for me to do. I am dead. I am. Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free in the name of jesus
a faithful God. Hallelujah. For you and your loved ones, be healed. voice is saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are i think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused Worship it too. are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the version. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Not my fault. 
Time you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, Baba Ladaba. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. Yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold though. Before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. Baby has small nose like you. 
Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody, stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagata bed. Rete le banda brandos ko parada balata God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, if, if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level, and you just come and march out here, please, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men, every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Lady, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please. Let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bring her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Setete pakatala baba 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 baba. brende kepele kotosh. Baby, grow in the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, if you know honestly. Please don't play games with God here. You know that you are trusting God to settle down maritally 
in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle walker. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming. We break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him. But the relationship is hereby declared none and void. You must choose to walk in holiness and integrity. Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hard-working and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen, this is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom. We will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year. That God told me there will be surprise marriages. Even people who did not believe and expect. Listen. Let me give you a revelation. My Bible says male and female he created them. What and what? Did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you. One, two, three, right now. Right now, right now, I cause it, I cause it, let them go, let them go now, I release you now, 
I release you now. 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 Every spirit sitting on your marital destiny, I set it on fire. Now. Hallelujah. Now I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, your people have come out because they are ready to settle down. In the name of Jesus, whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands, may it come upon them now in the name of Jesus. Wherever your husband is, if he is walking in this earth right now, just like Boaz located Ruth, I call forth your life partner now by prophecy. Now, goodness, the power of God is creating a connection right now, right now, in the realm of the spirit, right now. In the name of Jesus, I connect you in the realm of the spirit. I break every soul tie. I break every soul tie. I break every covenant stopping you from marriage. Right here. We are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of Jesus. Some of you are ready to marry. There's no money. God punish the devil in the name of the Lord Jesus. We call for supply. The beds that brought food for Elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now. Go and return with your testimony. Please rise up everybody. Pastor Jakes, please come. Pastor Jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request. Listen friends, we have a God that answers prayers. There are just a few minutes and we'll be out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with God. Get, go ahead and pray. Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Rakata na raba si te bale bondo braga la la baria raba kasanda raba ligede. Riha ta sa para bago dia de bale brega de de boko sa ni raba da. In the rakata da bato para kata bale brega la la baria raba do baria. Rakoto pa ya rakata ya raba raba raba. Ende brega lele bondo braga do bale brega la la baria kada. Rakata ya raba la la baria bade bade. Rakata bade baria raba raba da. Enda rakata la ba raba da la ba raba da. Rakata ba ha sha para bade. Rakata li ba raba ba 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 ba. Enda regele le le boko si bala bade. Raba to salietando ho. Imanda kato ja ila. Barus aliatando. Iga bo ja ila. Raunda as ila paliendo. Resula Italia. Rusa indo ko. Iamba uada. Wabula ada yondelu. Riamula. Uacha kayuna ma, ua duya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragana, rusia la, makondo robo koshika ma. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. Dead spiritual lives. Let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families. In the blessed name of Jesus. We speak to barren cases. Family challenges. In the name of Jesus. It ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha. 
Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones. Fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God, bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha. Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. The Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory for every prayer point here, Lord. It receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray and the church of God says, Hallelujah! As God's servant has prayed, we convert this prayer request to testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please everybody stand. Inside and outside. Please rise. Something must change in your life right now. And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, for many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction. And I command, receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life break through now receive break through now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue against your destiny be silenced now be silenced now be silenced now be silenced now 
silence now. Be silence now. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Whatever has stopped your growth. Whether spiritually or academically. The Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord. Shall flourish in the courts of our God. Like the cedars of Lebanon, will they be fat and flourishing? I command barrenness to be over now. I cause barrenness now. I cause barrenness. Rekoto sekete, repos kopoto shabai. And Jesus said, every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the sons of the prophet told Elisha, he said, where we meet with you is too small. Come, let us go beyond the Jordan. And the Bible says, while they were felling the tree at Jordan, the axe head fell. And they said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the prophet said, where did it fall? And he threw a stick. And the earth head began to float. I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names. Every situation over your life that you know only God can change it. May that God change it now. Every situation in your life that only God can change. May that God change now. Change it now. Change it now. That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. And the Bible says, Esther went in. And when the king saw her, he said, Esther, what would you have me do? Even up to half of my kingdom. Everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life. Repoto Sotoa. 
we break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there. May my God take you there. May my God take you there. Hallelujah. And the man who was crippled from birth, he needed a miracle, but there was no man to help him. And the Bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him. It's one thing for men to want to help you, but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way. I prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life, career wise, marriage wise, academic wise, I call them into your life now. 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 Hallelujah. The Bible says, Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Genesis 24 verse 1. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things. How many things? How many things? Every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing. The Bible says Naaman, 2 Kings 5, was the captain of the Syrian army. He was a mighty man. The Bible says, but he was crippled. I pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of God, let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down it said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I pray for you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face before you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And may he give you peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God praise in the name of Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you